Risk assessment is a careful examination to determine the precautions and control required to prevent harm such as work-related accidents or ill health, when handling chemicals. Risk assessments for chemical handling is required and comprised of the following steps. Hazard identification. Risk evaluation. And risk control. To identify chemical hazards, it is best to Refer to the SDS of the chemicals being used. Identify the GHS hazard, physical, health or environmental hazards. Discuss with the involved laboratory staff too. Identify routine and non-routine laboratory work. Determine the sources and processes are possible risk hazards. Inspect the laboratory facility. Review past incidents or injury records. During the chemical hazard identification, some considerations are required. Chemical life cycle. Possible exposure to toxic, reactive, corrosive or flammable chemicals. Fire and explosion hazards. Incompatible chemical reactions. Risk evaluation is a process to determine the quantitative estimate of risk, related to a well-defined situation and recognized hazard. It involves the following steps. First step. Determine the likelihood which is the frequency or probability of the hazard occurrence, or how easy the person might be exposed to the hazard or threat. Second step. Determine the severity which looks at the seriousness of the impact or the extent of damage, injury or ill health, caused by the risk. Final step. Evaluate risk level by referring to risk assessment matrix, a combined matrix of likelihood and severity levels and compute the risk prioritization number, RPN, to determine risk acceptability. There are some considerations when determining likelihood of exposure. They are Person handling the chemical Pathway of contact or route of entry Level of expected frequency and duration Probability of occurrence of chemical accident the above mentioned considerations would enable the laboratory staff to determine the likelihood ratings as shown in the table. The likelihood ratings are indicated from rare to almost certain, with its numeric levels of 1 to 5 respectively as shown in the table. When determining severity of exposure, these considerations should be taken note. Chemical and physical properties. Dose response information. Toxicological acute or chronic, effects. Exposure standards, for example permissible exposure limit. Severity and consequences of past incidents, if any. Specific onsite severity. The above mentioned considerations would enable the laboratory staff to determine the severity ratings as shown in the table. The severity ratings are from 1, being negligible to 5, being catastrophic. Risk is evaluated by using the risk assessment matrix, which is a combined table of the likelihood and severity levels as shown in the table. From the risk assessment matrix, a risk prioritization number, RPN, is calculated and is used as an overall rating to see if the risk level is acceptable or not. The RPN rating is a product of the multiplication of severity level by likelihood level. The computed RPN rating gives the estimated risk level. The higher the values, the higher the risk level. From the table, an RPN of 3 or less gives a low risk level and is acceptable. However, an RPN of 15 and above is high risk and not acceptable. Upon identifying the risk levels, controls have to be implemented to bring the risk down to an acceptable level. Recommended actions are required for each risk level as shown in the table. Low risk is considered acceptable risk in which no additional control measures is required. However, the risk should be monitored frequently to ensure that it does not increase over time. For medium risk, it is tolerable in which the hazard should be reduced within a defined period. It is not acceptable for high risk levels, and the risk has to be reduced to medium risk or lower before commencing work.